A new bill that could possibly raise teacher salaries is leaving a lot of questions by teachers and administrators. Regional Superintendent of Schools Bobby Maddenly says with the current money problem schools are facing, she's not sure the districts could afford the pay increase. For years we've had financial problems in our schools and that has, you know, has kind of put us all in a hole a little bit. And so it would be hard for districts to respond uh, without feeling the pain. Charleston High School teacher Kristen Runyon says some of that pain could come from cuts to other crucial areas. If you're going to have to pay for a higher salary by cutting more books, by reducing the number of teaching positions um, so that we're teaching more students than we already are, um, if we can't repair desks, if we can't repair roofs, I mean I, I think the money, we're going to lose the money from some other place. The money's not going to magically appear. Runyon says teachers value the needs of their students, and that means giving them the materials they need for an education, not paying the staff more. She says money isn't what made her want to become a teacher, and she hopes future teachers feel the same. I would still want people to go um, into education because they love education. They love working with students. Money is an important factor, but the value of teachers is even greater. I really think that it is of the utmost of importance to pay our teachers um, not what they're worth, because I don't think we can pay them that much, <laughs> because uh, teachers, you know, they're the bottom line to education. 